Recycling is never going to be the solution to the plastic pollution crisis. Plastic is not safer for us. And it's not down to you or I to fix this problem. It's down to the plastics industry, the fossil fuel industry, and the big brands, because they are the ones who got us into this mess in the first place. So I think a lot of people imagine that recycling is this like magic process where you put something in the trash and then it goes away and then it comes back good as new. But that's just not the case. What happens is every single time you recycle something, it starts to degrade and it makes it harder and harder to recycle it again. So plastic can only be recycled a finite amount of times. What we know is that since 1950, only 9% of all the plastic ever made has actually been recycled. Not only that, but the plastics industry, that means you know the fossil fuel industry, big brands, big companies like Coke and Pepsi, are projected to double plastic production over the next 10 years. We can never recycle our way out of this crisis. That's not the same as me telling you that we should stop recycling altogether. If your bathtub was overflowing, you wouldn't go grab a mop and bucket, would you? You'd go and turn off the tap. And that's what we need to do. We need to turn off the tap, deal with this problem at source and switch to reuse and refill like yesterday. The plastics industry know that we need to do this. They're just not doing it because at the moment, keeping things as they are is more profitable for them. The plastics industry would love for you to believe that if something's wrapped in plastic, that somehow makes it safer. In fact, the plastics industry has used the COVID-19 pandemic to insist that single-use plastic, more plastic packaging makes things safer. But that is just not the case. In fact, Greenpeace coordinated a statement from over 120 scientists around the world saying that reusables like reusable cups can be safe. Scientists are only just discovering the impact that plastic is having on our health. For a huge amount of this plastic, what happens is it gets exported by countries in the global north to countries in the global south who may have less recycling infrastructure to deal with these kind of items. And that means that it just gets burnt, leaving those communities with long-term devastating health impacts. What that means is that plastic pollution is not just an environmental issue, it is also a health and social justice issue as well. Don't forget, plastic is made from fossil fuels. 99% of plastic are made from fossil fuels. That means that when you do things to them, when you use them, when you make them, when you turn them into other things, that releases air pollution, that releases chemicals into the atmosphere, that releases carbon emissions that further our climate emergency, and there's no greater th threat to public health than the climate emergency. Personally, I've tried so many things to avoid plastic, as I'm sure you watching this have. You know, buying the right bottle, buying the right cup, buying the right bag. What's really important to understand is that it's not you and I who are gonna be able to fix this problem. We need to put pressure on big companies like Coke and Pepsi and the fossil fuel industry and the plastics industry to switch to reuse and refill. That's how we tackle the problem at source.